Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. In this video, we're just going to run through, uh, dead quickly, my top five resources, tips for getting started with headless commerce and Magento to learn to be able to become self sufficient and get started within headless commerce. Number one, best thing I've found out there, the best resource I've found out there for headless commerce is this, is Storefront UI. And this does link to, to number two, in fact, quite quite heavily. But number one, a component-based e-commerce boilerplate for Vue.js. Now, Vue.js is number two. Vue.js and Nuxt, in fact. Learn Vue. If you're going to learn a progressive JavaScript framework, let it be Vue.js. Um, it's it, it's the best one by an absolute mile. It, it it shits on React and Angular. Don't don't even bother. Get you get your teeth into Vue.js and you won't regret it because once you get a handle on Vue.js, it'll lead you to Nux.js, which is an intuitive view framework as it says there this provides the server side rendering from it on a node server uh, which search engines crave so this helps you uh, build a progressive web app that is not going to lose any SEO uh, value basically um, because Vue.js essentially on its own makes one page apps so if you tried to make an e-commerce store out of it, it, it you could do it but SEO would be problematic that, that's sort of one and two together, but the reason I've put Storefront at number one is just how finished it is. It's amazing. So you have, the, the the basic concept is you have atom molecules and organisms, and you can basically piece together a boilerplate for any, what would be fit for purpose for any um, Magento to replication. So you're grabbing the data from Magento and you're displaying it in your single page app or your your, your service ad rendered app from Nuxt. Um, and it gives you all of these components. Look, so you've got something that resembles a grouped product. You've got um, different versions of it. You've got hero banners. Um, and if you learn Nuxt and you learn view, then using this will be, or if you know it already, then using this is an absolute piece of piss. Like you can just drag in the components, use the prop props there to, to inject the your data, your specific store data from existing Magento stores into your components and you can you know quite swiftly build a very credible um, front end headless solution for any Magento 2 site that already exists. This brings me on to number three, Lane GraphQL. Headless applications could be powered by REST API, but don't bother. Learn GraphQL. Get something like this. I'm using Chrome IQL, which is an extension for Google Chrome, which helps you test endpoints, test endpoints out. It's got, it's really good. It's like got a history look there where you can go back through other queries. It allows you to query any GraphQL endpoint, this is a local one, so you can see it's got the standard Magento sample data in it, but I'm able to query it. Um, the beauty of GraphQL, I won't go, in, I will do a video specifically on GraphQL and bringing it into an application later, but look how versatile it is. Like a REST API is gonna give you some data and you get what you're given. With GraphQL, if you didn't know already, you can query it for the for the data that you, that, that you want. Look, so there's the HTML for the description. You can, you can you, it's, it's incredible and and the two things marry up so well they go together so well do um, single page applications PWAs or headless and GraphQL stunning partnership tacit number four to number three so these things are sort of a little bit more related than I hoped when I planned this video but the Magento docs for GraphQL are your friend full of great examples to be honest um, you know really good you can query you can get sample queries you can um then take these queries for example and so, so grab a product a products query um let's grab a pre-built one just to demo it um blah, 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 scroll down a bit must be one in here somewhere there you go 
product search for yoga pants now this is based on the sample data helpfully so if these this is your sort of initial foray into graphql and also um trying you know putting together some sort of headless app then the docs give you a really good sort of start i would say spin up a local magento um install the sample data and then use something like this GUI here, Chrome IQL, to start testing and, and seeing what you know what works, what doesn't. Because these queries can direct can be directly ported into your your Nuxt view slash your Nuxt slash view app uh, using something which is number five on my list, View Apollo. View Apollo is a package for View which enables your application to make calls to a graphql endpoint um, and, it, and it, it again i'm going to do a video specifically on this i'm going to break these five things down into separate videos to give you actual examples and, and tutorialize them but i thought i'd preempt that with a bit of an intro to sort of the next phase of my channel sort of moving away maybe from traditional magento tutorials for the time being and and having a look at, at this as a series of uh, videos so yeah so number one view storefront have a look at that number two which helps with um which runs into number two which is nuxjs and view loads of information out there on the internet get stuck into that number three learn graphql don't take much learning to be honest it's an absolute dream uh, to work with and number four magento docs for graphql number five once you've got to grips with those first four number five is almost the linchpin that will take your magento's graphql that you're now competent with your view js headless app that you're now testing and sandwich the two things together into a workable headless solution um that's where i would get started um good luck good luck like and subscribe more content on this coming soon.